Good morning, you're joining us on episode two of Van Life Cooking. As you can see, we haven't got Flora this week, but my darling sister has lent us her 1972 VW Beetle called Gabriel. It just so happens that they are the same colour. And in this episode, you will see me cooking a barbecue baked sea bream. Salt and pepper rating, three out of five, but I know you YouTubers can definitely do it at home if you follow my simple instructions. Let's see what we're going to make today. <laughs> right, so I've got two sea bream whole. They've been gutted. Obviously, we're filming in Shropshire, so I got these from good old same bows. We're going to stuff them with fresh dill, fresh parsley, some crushed garlic and some lemon. So really simple, really healthy as well. And it's just going to be re a really simple dish. Lemon. So here we are in the cavity. One lot of dill. A little bit of parsley. Two slices of lemon, in it goes. And then for this, I've got some, I say semi-fresh garlic, it might have been in the fridge for a little while. So, just get rid of that down there. I'm just going to press down and hopefully not take the table off with me. And that's just slightly crushed. Leave the um, casings on, it really doesn't matter because we're not going to eat what's in the middle. I'm going to put two in each one. Now we've got our fish ready and prepared and now it's for the foil parcel. So I'm just going to move these out of the way. Bog standard foil. So rip in your foil off. It's a little bit blusterous, I'm just gonna pop that there a minute. Then grab your fish. Place it in. So we're gonna do our scoring and this is gonna allow the heat to get into the fish quicker and also it'll help you to see if it's cooked or not. So both sides, just so, just through, and you can start to feel your knife scraping on bone. I know that sounds horrendous, but it's my descriptive term. <laughs> right, pop that there. <laughs> How it goes. Uh, right, oil first. Salt and pepper. Flip it, same again. There we are, right, for the fold. Could have done with using wider foil for this, but we'll make do and mend because that's just the way we roll. Right, bunching it up. Are you try gonna try and make like a Cornish pasty? Because you need that pocket of air to collect the steam. Oh, look. Look at him. You can be so tasty. Right, let's get more there. Okay, that is your sea bream prepped, ready for barbecue. Let's see how we are with the barbecue because it needs to be all over grey with the cold red right in the middle. And that's optimum temperature for barbecuing, which you do need to be patient for. If you put it on before, it's going to burn and it'll just stick and all your burgers will stick too. So it needs to be grey with white hot coals in the middle, uh, red hot coals in the middle. Simplest thing we've done all day, pop it on. These will take a little bit of time. It's gonna be different for different fish. It's gonna be different for different barbecues. 
But I can hear it already that it's sizzling. Can you hear that too? Ooh. So we're just gonna leave that for a while. I'm gonna come and check it. We've got to be careful we don't rip the foil. Obviously it's gonna let the steam out. So we're just gonna leave it for a while and see what happens. Hopefully magic will happen. So now we're gonna make an accompaniment to go with the fish. Really simple tomato parmesan rocket salad. So we've got some lovely rocket here and it's literally just a chop job. So just chopping up, my table's a bit wonky. Chopping up the tomatoes, just halving them. Popping them in the bowl. This recipe is a really healthy one. I was going to add a bit of butter to the fish, but I'm not going to, because I'm going to try and make this really health conscious video. Not everyone's going to be health conscious, I can promise you that. Whoop, I lose my bowl. Cooking outdoors, nothing is ever level. There we go. Then Parmesan. Peeler. Parmesan. This is known as Parmesan shavings. Oh, let me hold the bloody thing the right way. There we are. Shavings. So it's little, little shavings of cheese instead of being grated. You can see them a lot easier as well. So. Fair few of them in. Quite strong in flavour, but really nice. And quite Italian. So that's that. That's your salad. You can give that a quick toss. Can give it a little drizzle in olive oil. And there we are. Right, time to check the fish. Some of the oil has leaked out when I've turned it, so that's why it's looking a bit like black on the foil. So you can have a look, see how far we are. Remember, everything's hot. It is. Whoa, we're in business. Just gonna keep that a little bit longer. Steamed it really well. It's only been what, maybe cooking for about seven minutes, would you say, cameraman? Would you say, cameraman? Reply to me, cameraman. <laughs> Ten? I have got no concept of time, which is a problem, really. So carefully trying to undo it. See if it is bloody up, because I'm with a secondary pair of tongs. So come and have a look. So you can see the fish is flaking. The closer you check it to the bone, the nearer it is. So I'm going to leave that just a little bit longer, and then it will be time to plate up. I've checked the fish and it is now ready, so it's time to plate up and make it look wonderful. Right, the foil is really hot, so it might be worth leaving it to cool down for a couple of minutes. So here we are. This is what it looks like. And it smells really good. It smells really nice. So I'm going to try and lift it. Because you don't really want to serve it in the foil, really, ideally but it's also going to be quite delicate, so. There we are. I'm going to garnish it with my rocket parmesan tomato salad. Wedge of lemon. Some extra dill. There we are. So here we have it. Baked sea bream on the barbecue in foil with rocket and parmesan salad and fresh herbs. Enjoy. You could do different versions of fish on the barbecue. You could do it with a piece of salmon, just a fillet of salmon. You could do sea bass. You could do a tuna steak this way or just fillets if people weren't keen on bones but I think it could be quite an impressive way to feed your friends at a barbecue. I hope you've enjoyed watching today's video. Like and subscribe 
and comment below. I'd like to know any other recipes that you'd like to see. Uh, the links are in the description for our social media to keep up to date and also the ingredients list and any extra information that we think you need to know. Uh, thanks again for watching. We'll see you soon.